Distance 0.14. Average pace 718. Average heart rate 110. Workout average pace 711. Well, good morning. This is Carlos, the running jackal, the running jackal from Sweden. Today I'm running somewhere different. I'm running the Colquitts River Trail. I have run here before. I used to run here with Norma and with Derek. He used to work. Derek used to work at Montana's. Montana's is passing now. It's a urban trail that runs beside Colquitt's Creek next to uh, Interurban Road at this stage. Hi. It gets progressively more peaceful in a minute. They move away from into Urban Road and are almost deafened by a bird. Hello. Hello, dog. Hi. Hello, dog. So, six. 58 average pace. I'm going to try and stay in zone 3 for the 5 miles. Which will take, oops, which will take me about an hour to complete. Probably a little less. I seem to have sped up lately. Been training with the old heart rate for quite a while now. More than a month. So I can afford to back it off a little bit. This used to be a very muddy creek, but they have been gradually cutting off the storm drains that have been flowing into the creek and channeling them into the sewers so that the stream has now become a lot cleaner. There is not much gradient at this stage. I am running upstream. I can hike this little bridge seeing as I'm in zone 4 and going uphill. Zone three. The obvious progression from there would have been zone 5, which I am trying to avoid. That's a noisy bridge. Very noisy 
birds today. This is probably a bird of paradise. Seven oh five. It should be averaging seven by the time I finish. That's the plan. Seven minute per kilometer pace. Hello. Morning. And zone three as much as possible. Very soon I'm going to be running under one of the busiest highways in Victoria. Mackenzie Avenue is literally over my head. Zone three. Now I have interurban road on my left hand side where it will disappear shortly. I think I will call this episode I think I will call this episode Call Quits Bird Song but So far we have been treated to quite a chorus of birds on. And a little bit of chorus of traffic, but that can't be helped. I am six miles high closer to town than where I live. As I cross the road, I have my fanny pack, but it has my camera in it. When I get back to Tilikum, back to the Perks Arena, I have a soft drink. Hello, waiting for me. San Pellegrino grapefruit. Should be just about enough sugar for me after this hour of running. Hello. I still got a little fast. I've done two of eight, so I'm a quarter of the way down. Heading for Panama Flats. You heard it right. Panama Flats. This is Panama Flats, and I can see 
Mount Doug way off in the distance about three miles as the crow flies and I'm not a crow I have the creek next to me I can still afford to back it off a little. It's a little hillier soon, but at the moment, this is a very broad, open field with tall grasses. I don't think it's cultivated at the moment. There is some corn, some fodder, that kind of corn, long, long grass for fodder for the animals. And there I see two birds, definitely. Hello. You see, the first pace is just my current pace from the last couple of calculations. And then the second pace is the overall pace. By knowing how fast my current pace is, I can judge how much to back it down. Glad I brought my Sony along today. I was a little disappointed. Hi. Six forty-five. Yep. My current and my average. Pace is now the same. There's a plane flying overhead. Like a float plane, probably heading for Seattle, or maybe arriving from Vancouver. We are quite far out here. And hike. This is one of the few hills that I have to negotiate both ways. This will be an out and back. Zone three on the hike. I think coming down here, I was probably in zone two. Time oh. twenty one. Distance three point zero eight. Average pace eight one. Average heart rate one hundred forty five. Workout average pace six forty seven. Yeah, let's see. Eight one is my current pace. Slowing down to twelve. Eight, probably twelve. Ten to twelve minute pace. But I'll be running again in a few seconds as I see the top of the hill and the turn in the trail. And down. I just had it on pause for a second there. I think we're up to about 20. Two minutes, maybe 23. I can live with these settings. The two paces and the heart rate and the zone change. I 
think I might even have it on auto pause because I brought my uh, camera. I figured. I figured then I could stop and take a good picture like round about here and it wouldn't necessarily jeopardize my pace. Let me just get the camera out. Autopod. Yep. It is on auto pause. Which is great. I can take my time trying to unzip the oyster casing around my camera. A noise you have heard many, many times before. All right, and here's another noise you've heard many times. My camera firing up. So this is a view of part of the trail and a clump of trees and then looking back and uh, one selfie to the sidey plus a little bit of video to the turnaround might as well might as well as they say might as well might as well sounds like a great full dead sound might as well might as well yep it is zone three hello This is all very recently restored from being somebody's orchard to being everybody's orchard. Most of these are either apple or pear trees, I think. So I'm coming up to my turnaround. I will be popped out from these trails onto a, a little suburban cul-de-sac. And then I will turn and head back to the four I just had. Back off a little. Hello. Yeah, this is pretty much the end of the trail. And then I'll turn around and head back. One more minute should take me to four kilometers. This is that little cul de sac I was telling you about. Be on the road in a second. Grange Road, to be precise. Time 26, distance 3.87, average pace 612, average heart rate 150, workout average pace 643. So, there you go. I will turn at the end of Grange at the stop sign.
and start my head back. As I put my camera equipment away. Zone three. Zone three. All right, I'm now heading into the wind. I'm glad I have my wind sock with me. Originally, Norma made me two. The one I'm using now and one that was slightly bigger. Originally, I thought... Originally, I thought the first one was too wide. So, uh, I used the tighter one and then the tighter one worked so well for me that I kept it. The other one is a fallback windsock. That I was thinking of gifting to one of my friends. Somebody who I know uses the Sony. I wonder who that friend will be. Who the lucky man? Six forty one. Still too fast. Still too quick for today. Zone four. But I'm heading down now. I know Steve Hellstone is using his heart rate data to base this training around. He uses the same app as I do, the ice smooth one. So I can talk to him about zones and he knows exactly what I'm talking about. I'm running about 40 seconds a kilometre too quickly at the moment. I can back it up a little bit, but I'll just wait until the hill, because I know that Panama Hill is coming up too sweet. These grasses are now taller than me. They're quite lovely, really. The wild grasses. Splendid. When they're allowed to grow this tall. Time for hydration. Yeah, there you go. I will be a little late for that. But that's okay, it's overcast. I had a drink of water before I came out. I should have taken a salt pill as well, but I didn't bother. It's only an hour of running on an overcast Sunday morning. But I forgot that there is very little tree cover here. I think I knew that guy. But he was coming down 
Panama Hill Noise at full five. speed. Average pay seven five. Average heart rate one hundred forty six. Workout average pay six forty. Six forty. So twenty seconds per kilometer average. Too quick. I will keep quiet for a couple of minutes now. A runner coming through. Okay. Nice looking dogs. Look like a couple of racing greyhounds. behind me. Okay, this is a gravel path. Most of these bikes have been hybrids with thicker tires and wheels. Still too quick, you see. 640. So the only way I can get that down would be to walk some more. I would just use the heart rate as a guide and try and avoid the zone 4 now. Back in the belly of Panama Flats. Check it out on the map. It's quite impressive. I'm now on the other side of Colquitt's Creek, heading towards Telecom Road. That's the traffic of Mackenzie Boulevard, Mackenzie Avenue, over my head. It always amazes me when you see graffiti on the underside of tall bridges. Let's take some skill to be able to get up there and tag. Just getting up there would be hard enough. Hello. Yeah, I have to get more. Yeah. 
Alright, so this run is almost over. Just left me to say a little bit about why I'm in Tillicum. I'm here because my wife is one of the organizers of a pickleball tournament that uh, has attracted about 200 players, I think. And today is the final day of competition. They've had the gender singles, the gender doubles, and I believe today is the mixed doubles. I'm just coming up to that noisy bridge, the one with the loose planks. Average pace 749. Average heart rate 144. Workout average pace 639. 639. I will walk over the noisy bridge. Funnily enough, this is also where the loudest bird noises are. Hello. Hi. No. Hi. Auto pause. All right. I stopped to let two cyclists go by me. A bit of loose gravel there. I didn't want them to have to break suddenly. So the pickleball tournament. I might save a few seconds at the end of this run my head in the back of the gymnasium and get some ambient sound from the pickleballers. Yeah, I have about 10 minutes left. About a mile to go. Just coming towards the end of my run here, the Colquitt's River Creek. So seven minute pace. I've been battling all day to try and get it to seven, but I'm afraid I'm a little fast today. What can I say? Call it excitement. Maybe. And up again. And... Under the bridges. Let me just stop the video camera now. It's not very scenic from here on in. Almost at Silver City, which is our multiplex theatre. It's been a good run. Enjoyed talking to you. As always, you helped me get through it.
Okay, so I'm done. Zone three. Zone three. Workout stopped. Save and export. It might send it because there is Wi Fi here, but maybe not very strong Wi Fi. We'll see. Exporting. Yep, it went. So now I can hear the pickleball people. So that's the sound of pickleball.